Hello everybody, Momo from the Momo Zone. Hope you're having an awesome day and a beautiful summer. I want to take the opportunity to thank everybody out there who's been watching my videos for all these years. I finally busted over the 3 million views, 3,004,750, I'm kind of around there right now. It's been a real honor to be able to, you know, share some of my thoughts and answer your letters with you guys. I know I haven't been putting out that many videos and stuff these days, but I will eventually, really soon, come back and come up with a format that suits everybody's needs and stuff that works. I miss it and I miss you guys. And, uh, but I, I wanna make sure that I've really got some good stuff to say to you guys. So sometimes, you know, after six years of plowing a bunch of information and responding to all your letters, uh, you know, you need a bit of resourcement. So I'll be coming back real soon one of these days with some great, great videos and a new concept. Uh, and keep sending me your letters and your great vibes and please subscribe. And I thank you so much to all you people out there who have been supporting me and sending me those beautiful emails for all these years. Um, they have fueled a piece of my inner soul that I will take with me till my very last day. So for this, I thank you. You guys totally rock. So today I will give you a little piece of advice. We're gonna talk about a few words that I think that are imperative in order for you guys to make anything happen at all. I mean anything. For me, these two words are passion and commitment. They work hand in hand. If you're really passionate about something, you gotta be committed about it to actually make it happen. And that works in a relationship with people. It works for an idea, for your job, uh, for anything. Doesn't matter what you are, a cook, an artist, uh, a dog walker, anything. You gotta be passionate and you gotta commit. And when you do that, your passion will turn in to the work, will turn into the thing that you can actually show and have proof that you're actually passionate about something. You gotta be able to research it, know your limits, know how to break your limits. Don't be afraid of your limits, go higher. And then commitment. I find that a lot of people start stuff and they don't finish it. That's where the magic of commitment comes in. There are so many things out there that have been like, you know, really passionate and you say, yeah, I wanna do this, I gotta do this. And you start it and then something always happens and you can never finish it or somebody or something's always getting in the way and you push it over and you push it over and then it just, what, it doesn't happen and it loses its initial fizzle, that magic, that light bulb that lights up on top of your head that you say, yeah, man, this feels good, let's do something about it. Commitment will take you there. Commitment means that once you commit to doing something, you take it till the end. You don't let problems or obstacles or, you know, things that might happen get in the way of making your commitment happen come to a halt. I live my whole life by commitment. My personal relationship with Krila for 29 years is my biggest commitment as well as my biggest accomplishment. We work through things no matter what, no matter what obstacle, we don't get mad at each other, we get happy with each other and we figure out how to make things happy, how to make things happen, how to make things better. And and better is what, you know, better needs to be put into the category of what suits you and your lifestyle. Better doesn't always mean, oh, I need to be in another place or I, I need to have a better car or I need to have uh, more money. Better starts with committing to what you really need, what you really want, and not taking for granted the amazing possibilities and the things that are around you every day. Passion, commitment, use those two words. Repeat them in your head every night and don't be afraid of them. Don't be afraid of the word commitment. Commitment doesn't mean it's gonna drag you down. As a matter of fact, it will set you free. Set the parameters up properly. Remember, before the thing is built, you're in control of it. You could set the parameters. You're building the foundation. You know exactly what the building is gonna look like and is gonna feel by the time it's done, provided that you had the passion to go deep enough to figure all that stuff out and the commitment to not only make it happen, but to keep it going. Thank you guys for watching, taking the time to write, and remember, you guys fucking rock! <laughs> See ya.